We've been reporting on the rise of anti-Asian hate crimes. Tonight, King 5's Natalie Swaby examines how the violence is prompting calls for unity, particularly within the black and Asian American communities. Attacks unprovoked and in plain sight, Asian Americans kicked to the ground and spit on and subjected to racial slurs. Stop AAPI Hate, an advocacy group tracking the escalation of xenophobia and bigotry, says it's received nearly 3,800 reports of hate incidents targeting Asian Americans across the country since the pandemic began. If you pay attention to these issues, you recognize that anti-Asian racism and anti-Asian violence uh, has been uh, a consistent problem for a very long time. Vince Schweitweiler teaches Asian American and African American studies at the University of Washington. He says widely circulated videos that show black men attacking elderly Asian people in recent months have been used as a racial wedge between the black and Asian American communities. And that's brought up historical tensions. Is there a problem, problem with anti-blackness in Asian American communities? Absolutely there is and, and has always been, right? And this history of organizing is a history to try to counter that. That history of organizing is one that includes black and Asian American communities coming together to work hand in hand over the years. What's the significance of where we are right now? Yeah, so we're here in uh, El Centro de la Raza. Right outside the window, there's a beautiful statue of Roberto Maestas, right, who is known uh, to folks in Seattle as part of a group called the Gang of Four, or the Four Amigos. Tell me about Seattle's Gang of Four. Uh, the Gang of Four uh, was a very magnificent group of uh, non-white activists who forged unity and brotherhood. Very effective multiracial organizing efforts that ended up being successful. So to go through the names, it was Roberto Maestas, Bob Ma Santos. And Bernie White Bear. And you. Yeah, and Larry Gossett. We been, didn't become the Gang of Four until about 1980. Who gave you that name? Some, I really don't, that's really a good question. What Larry Gossett can tell you is as communities of color were being pitted against one another, these four leaders instead found tremendous power in their united front as they fought for equality and social justice when it came to issues like education, housing, and health care. Through organized struggle and pressure, it is possible to get change in America. We, 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 we did it. Did they make a difference in this city? They absolutely changed the landscape of the city, and they did that because they were friends. They did that because they got along. Um, they did that because their communities had always lived together um, in Seattle, in segregated Seattle. As the Gang of Four's only surviving member, Gossett says he's committed to carrying on the legacy. It won't be done unless we're willing to organize across racial lines, Blacks, Asians, Native, Latino, progressive whites, all together. This recent rally in Seattle is one example of how the rise in anti-Asian violence has led to calls for all communities to come together and stand against racism. And I don't want to suggest that um, these communities don't have conflict, right? These two things can be true at the same time, right? You can have a long history of solidarity, right? And you can also have, uh, at the same time, a history of antagonism and uh, prejudice. And so those uh, pressures have always been felt in our community. I just hope that we can build a more united front that involves people from all communities. Fight against hate and discrimination in this community. He wants to see more of this to combat the hate. Hate is a virus! Hate is a virus! Hate is a virus!